This series of videos aims to explore rheumatological diagnoses from a patient's perspective. In this particular video, we're going to look at early inflammatory arthritis. Early inflammatory arthritis encompasses rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and other forms of inflammatory joint disease. I hope you find the information presented here useful. So Martin, can you tell me a little bit about your arthritis before you came to the rheumatology clinic? Yes, I had been seeing my GP for a couple of years and been prescribed some anti-inflammatory drugs, but I got to the point where um, in the morning my uh, knuckles and my hands and fingers were very, very stiff, so I couldn't ride my bike because I couldn't grip the handlebars. I couldn't really grip things properly in the morning. Um, I'd previously done quite a lot of running and I'd had to give up running because I had quite a lot of stiffness and pain in my ankles. Um, so it was at the point where it was really starting to impinge on my life. And what prompted you to eventually see your GP? I'd been seeing my GP for a couple of years just about pain. I didn't know whether it was arthritis or not. Uh, but the pain was obviously apparent and so uh, there had been I'd been examined a couple of times and I'd, I took only over-the-counter painkillers and I'd been given anti-inflammatory drugs, but that was all. And that, that was actually kept at bay for a couple of years, but it was obviously progressing and getting worse, at which point I was referred. Did you find that you became accepting of the condition and just carried on doing things with painkillers on board? Or did you ever come to a point where you thought, actually, this isn't really working for me and I need to do something more to sort this out. I was continuing seeing my GP, taking uh, whatever over-the-counter painkillers I needed uh, and being prescribed some drugs by my GP and it was gradually getting worse but to be honest because it had happened gradually I just I accepted that as the way things were and it was only when I went for my annual review with my GP and I explained that I could no longer grip things in the morning, I could no longer hold things, my fingers wouldn't really bent and, and I just sort of thought, well that's how we are at the moment and it was my GP actually said, that sounds terrible, I'm going to refer you. Did you find that uh, the condition affected your mood at all? Sometimes patients mention that they without knowing perhaps a relative or someone may have commented on um, on their mood. Was that true of you, do you think? Not really, not really. Um, I, I think it hadn't reached a stage where it was having quite such a profound impact, so I, I was still working normally, I was still going about my daily business as best I could. It was just one of those things that I'd built into my sort of daily routine. <laughs> 